Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny and I'm sitting folks on my front deck and I've got a, a project here. Actually, I want to help you. I want to first ask you, now I'm not going to review. You can see that I've got a coffee pot sitting here. Uh, I'm not going to review it, but I'm going to show you how to make it work better or maybe even possibly fix it. Now notice here, uh, my cameraman or person is going to zoom in here and I'm going to show you a trick. I like to show you tricks, if you will. I use that term. This is an old Hamilton Beach programmable coffee pot that has been thrown away. Uh, it's been thrown away. So I'm going to show you how to resurrect it. And if yours has not been tossed out yet, maybe you're just about ready to throw it out and buy a new one. But stop. Before you do that, let me show you how to save some money. Okay? Take you three tablespoons of baking soda and a quart of vinegar, white vinegar, and pour it in. Now, this old pot is nasty because it's been abandoned. Okay? Pour it down into the top of... Listen, blend that baking soda first with a quart of white vinegar. Three tablespoons of baking soda. Blend it slowly. Now, it's going to have a little gas on it. A little kind of bubbly, fizzy, if you will. So pour it down into the vinegar kind of slow from the top of your container. But mix it up thoroughly first, okay? That's the secret to getting it to work. Mix your vinegar and your baking soda thoroughly so they become one liquid. Now that vinegar is going to be clear, and of course it is. Even though you add the baking soda, the baking soda is white, so it's going to be clear. Dump it down in here and do like I did. Goes down into your reservoir. Now listen, your reservoir there will be cleaned in the process, but the big thing is, is when this starts to brew. I have already brewed this. Now, moving that over, look at this. What causes your coffee pot to mess up? Hard water scaling that's inside the pot. Now, you would immediately say, maybe I can take this thing apart and tear it apart and clean it piece by piece. No, 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 don't do that. If you do, you're going to cripple it and you're going to permanently destroy it. The only way you can do it is to run this vinegar through it, just like you would brew coffee. And let that pot slowly brew through here with that vinegar and baking soda. Now here, let me show you if my camera person can show you what this looks like. Now that's hot. That was, listen, that was clear prior to going through the pot. But after I ran it through the pot, look what you've got. It's a, a brownish gold color. It's cleaned that scaling that's inside that pot completely. Now, I ran it through. I want you to do this. Don't be afraid. It's hot. Run it through two times, one quart, in order to get this kind of results. And I promise you, your coffee pot will work far better and you won't have to throw it out and you won't have to buy a new one. That is incredibly, incredibly showing me that that pot is clean. So let me show you one more thing here. Now, after I'm going to do this, after you clean it, now, that's vinegar. Remember that. That's vinegar and baking soda, and it's cleaned this pot. Let me show you this. Here is some of the stuff that you need to look at. I put a, a filter in this thing in order to catch the stuff that's coming through from the clean. Now, I want my camera person. I'm going to fold this right like this. Now... 
take a look at it. Look here. Look at this. Just plain gook that came through that filter. Now I'm going to leave that laying there. Look. This, one other thing I want to show you before. Just make sure that you run about, remove this, throw, throw this away. It's all clean. Run you about two pots of fresh cold water through it in order to get the vinegar and the baking soda cleaned out. That's all you got to do. Run it through it. And trust me, your coffee will taste better and your pot will work better and you'll be happy and you won't have to throw it out and you won't have to buy a new one. Remember that procedure that I showed you there, very simple. And I guarantee that your pot will be cleaner and your coffee will be tasting better. Trust me, just try it and see if it doesn't work for you. So thanks for watching. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I know how to fix a coffee pot. And this is a DIY thing that you can do yourself and save some money. Isn't that what it's all about? Is saving some money? I think so. So if you like this, give us a thumbs up. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel and you have a blessed day.